Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, these. <laughs> uh, these are uh, Citadel paints. I went shopping today. Um, and I just wanted to uh, talk briefly about uh, a few things regarding paints. Um, firstly, my experience buying these paints. Um, I haven't been into a Games Workshop shop for quite a few years. Uh, and there's a reason for that. When I last went into one, it was the one in St Albans, and it was probably about, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago. And I went in there with my son, because my son had expressed an interest in uh, tabletop wargaming. And I didn't really know a lot about it. I used to paint the miniatures, but I never really did the wargaming side of it. So I thought, well, you know, what better place to go? We'll go to Games Workshop um, and, you know, see what they say. So we went into the shop in St Albans, me and my son. Uh, there were a, a number of guys in there, uh, a couple of members of staff, a few other people, sitting around the table at the back, not playing a game, they were just chatting. So it was <laughs> kind of comical in a way. We walked in and there was this, um, like, like in an old Western film, it was like the conversation stopped and they all just sort of looked at us for a, for a few seconds and then went back to their conversation. So anyway, um, we had a quick look around the shop. Uh, and so I said to, I just, you know, it was like, excuse me. And again, they kind of looked at us for a second and just went back to their conversation. So I said, uh, excuse me. And they didn't even look up. So I said to my son, let's go. Come on, we just walked down and left. And my son was kind of confused by this. He was like, why didn't they talk to us, Dad? And I was like, <laughs> that's called terrible customer service, son. Get used to it. Um, so I then fired off a, a fairly snotty email to Games Workshop when we got home. Um, and I haven't been into one since. Anyway, today uh, we were in Hemel Hempstead because um, the missus needed a new coat, which we got, I have to say. Um, and while we were there, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go into the, into the Games Workshop uh, shop in Hemel and uh, have a look at some paints. Totally, totally different experience. Uh, we walked in the shop, as soon as we walked in the door, the guy behind the counter was like, Hi guys, welcome to the shop, how's it doing? You know, da, da, da. Lovely, friendly guy. I went and looked at the paints, um, he kind of left me to my own devices for about a minute or so, and he could see that I was plainly confused, <laughs> not having bought Citadel paints for many years. Um, and he came over and he helped, I, you know, I said I did have a list, but I left it at home. Um, so he's like, oh yeah, well, what are you looking to do? And I said, well, I want to paint some flesh tones. And he's like, oh yeah, well, these are good choices. And we went through it and he spent about 10 minutes going through all the paints with me. Absolutely fantastic. Couldn't be happier with the level of service. Um, I think the guy's name was Pablo. Um, but anyway, whatever his name was, the, he's the, he was the guy behind the counter in the shop in Hemel. Absolutely fantastic guy. He also told me that the shop in St. Albans is now under new management, apparently. And because um, I told him what happened. And he said that the guy who's running it now was a guy that he had trained, and he said, I can assure you, you won't have that experience again. He, you know, the, this guy is great. So anyway, but that's beside the point. Anyway, what I really wanted to talk about um, is these paints. And the first thing I want to talk about is the price, because I've got the receipt here. So uh, as you see, um, it's not called Games Workshop anymore, it's called Warhammer, which is kind of interesting. I never realized that. Um, so, you were served by uh, Pablo Masia. So, if that is indeed your name, Pablo, thank you for your service today. You're absolutely fantastic. Um, but what I wanted to point out was the prices. So, I bought, as I say, mainly flesh tones. Um, and you can see here, so I bought this um, Reichland flesh shade, which I think is like a wash. And it's, you can see it's a bigger bottle, 24ml, £4.75. All of the rest of them are the standard... Um, sort of 12 mil uh, bottles and they're two pounds 75 each so I spent 24 pounds <laughs> on paint <laughs> yay um, but the interesting thing is when I um, the reason I bought them from the shop and not ordered them online is they're actually cheaper to go into the shop and buy them than anywhere else I've looked because um, I did look on eBay and Amazon and the cheapest I could find these on uh, eBay was about three, four pounds a bottle. Um, and up to five pounds a bottle. You know, it's ridiculous. It's, it's much cheaper. And as an aside, with the old Tamiya paints, um, 
it's uh, it's worth if you've got one near you go into Hobbycraft because in Hobbycraft they sell um, the uh, the Tamiya uh, bottles. What are these ten mil? I think. I can't remember what size these are now, um, but they sell these for about one pound eighty, whereas anywhere else they're three to five pounds each. So yeah, Hobbycraft. Um, anyway, that's beside the point. So what I wanted to do is just have a quick look at these paints, but it also um, raised a few interesting points for me, having you know been doing this for some time. So basically, what I got was um, this is uh, Cadian Flesh Tone. Uh, Kislev Flesh, uh, Ungor Flesh, uh, these are all uh, layers, I, I don't quite understand that yet but I'm working on it. Um, I got this Bugman's Glow which apparently is a good base coat for flesh, so that is a base as you can see. And then another layer here, Doom Ball Brown, which apparently is very good for shading. Can you, I don't know if you can really see that one, it's quite difficult to read. Um, and then as I say, the, the Reichlin Flesh layer, which I believe is a wash. I'm not sure if this is a wash or an ink. I don't know. I don't quite might know what shade is. Uh, I also got uh, Abaddon Black and Corex White Base. The reason I got these is because um, I've actually got Chaos Black, but I want to see what the coverage was like on this, and I also want to see what the coverage was like on this because the older Citadel Whites never really covered very well. You have to give it quite a few coats, so I'm kind of curious to see what that's like. Um, now. The one thing that kind of got me about these is I, I've never been a fan of these bottles, or so I thought, until I actually checked. The last um, one I bought was this one, and I actually found this in a charity shop uh, many years ago, and uh, it's Scorch Brown, and, it, and at first glance they look like the same bottles, but they're actually uh, not. I think the bottle is the same, but the cap is slightly different. The problem is with this one, is when you open it, it just flops shut again, which is really annoying. But then I noticed on these ones, there's a little bit of a difference. On the back here, you've got this little plastic tag, which this one doesn't have. When you pop this one open, it does flop shut again. But when you pull it back, it's kind of difficult to show you this without tipping the paint everywhere. If you notice there, that actually goes underneath the cap and holds it open. Which I think was, you know, it's just that just that addition of that little thing, and it's completely changed the usability of this pot. So well done, Games Workshop. Um, anyway, so that was that. Um, but it, got, it also got me thinking about some of my other um, paints because I've got some really old paints. <laughs> um, so as I say, this one I think was the previous bottle to this type. Uh, but prior to that, all of my paints are quite old. Um, and as I say, these are all kind of like flesh tones, not this one, um, but these that are done for flesh. So I, I thought, what other flesh tones have I got? So I had a quick look in my collection, and I've got this uh, elf flesh, which has not even been opened. I mean, God knows how old these are. Uh, bleached bone was always a good one for highlighting flesh. Uh, bronzed flesh was always used as a base colour. And then again for highlights, rotting flesh, which is also good for doing zombies and things. So I've got those. Um, this is my <laughs> old bottle of Skull White. I've actually got another brand new bottle of this that's never been opened. Um, so I've got that. Uh, but again, these are the, the, the kind of the forerunners to these ones, I think. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments. Um, so, yeah, let's put those to one side. But what I've also got, and again, coming back to this, this shade, um, which, like I said, I think it's a wash. I'm not entirely sure. Um, in the older series, you had um, various different ones. So you had the washes came with the blue cap. Um, they did glazes, again brand new, uh, that had a red cap. And then you had the metallics uh, had a black cap. And then the normal base, the normal colours had a white cap. So there you go. Um, but they also did these um, inks. Uh, and I bought these in a set, and they came in these little dropper bottles. And they're great, these, because you literally only need a drop of this stuff, a tiny amount. So that's that. Um, but, going back even further, <laughs> you have these style of bottle, the round bottles. And um, I've got quite a lot of these, 
most of them are still usable uh, they do need a good mix as you can see with this one it's, it's separated um, but this is uh, woodland green um, but I've also got a huge number of the same bottle types that don't have a lot and you can see how this separated this one is you can see the media on the top and, the, and all the pigment at the bottom um, but it just goes to show how much pigment there is in there I mean that that bottle is half pigment um, now as I recall and I might be wrong because this is going back maybe 30 years these are the ones you bought off the shelf individually and the ones without the labels came as part of a set so you bought a, a box of paints and they weren't labeled because they had the colors on the box and they weren't labeled so but uh, yeah I got tons of these but I wanted to to go back to my original point the reason I bought these is because I wanted to give them a go uh, when it comes to painting figures so that's why I got those because normally for the figures I use um, or I have been using these Vallejo uh, Panzer Aces so you've got the the, um, the flesh base there the highlight flesh and shadows flesh and to be fair these have worked really really well I'm very happy with these but I just wanted to try it with these and see how I get on so I'm not actually going to be painting anything today I just wanted to talk about these paints and talk about my experience buying these paints um, so yeah just a just a quick one really um, just to give you a little overview of, of the money I spent today so <laughs> anyway so thank you again to uh, to Pablo in Games Workshop for being wonderful and um, thanks to you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video cheers bye